Hello you guys and welcome to today's video. If you are new around here, hi my name is Madeline and I'm so happy that you are here today. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy. I decided to switch up my background a little bit for this video. This is my Christmas tree in my apartment. The lighting is a little weird. It's really dark outside today. It's a very rainy, gloomy day here in downtown Indy. So the lighting is kind of weird and my living room is super dark and that's where I'm sitting. So just bear with me. I wanted like a Christmassy background and I love my tree. She's very cute. Everything is from Hobby Lobby, except the stars from Walmart. I do have a video decorating my apartment. It is day one of Vlogmas. So if you want to see everything I did in my apartment and where everything is from, be sure to check that video out. I will link my Vlogmas playlist down below and you can watch all of my other vlogmas videos leading up to this one. If you have not already, be sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my other vlogmas videos or content after vlogmas. Super excited to have you guys here watching this video. Without further ado, we are going to jump on into the video. So I did something similar to this last year, but today I am doing a Christmas um, tag, Q&A, whatever you wanna call it. I did different questions last year, but I actually found someone else's Christmas tag from last year, which is like different questions, but it's still like a little, a little Q and A moment. If you guys want to do this video as well, I will leave the video I found linked down below so that you guys can watch it too and film your answers to the questions. We are just gonna jump on into it. There, there are 20 questions. The first one is, what is your favorite Christmas movie? I gotta think of what this is called, hold on. It's the one it's like a cartoon. It's the one with the Kris Kringle guy and he's a ginger. I feel like it's called like Santa Claus is coming to town. This, oh my gosh. Don't even ask me why this is my favorite, but like all the sirens in the background. Isn't that lovely? Isn't city life wonderful? I also live right next to like five or six hospitals. So this is just my life, sirens 24 seven. But it is this one. $10 on Amazon, baby. Don't even ask me why it's my favorite. I feel like it's more of like a childhood, like feeling nostalgic kind of thing. Cause I always watched that movie as a kid. I'm also a big fan of Elf, the Elf, Buddy the Elf, whatever that movie is. I think it's just called Elf, but those are probably my two favorites. I don't know if you guys can hear all the sirens in the background. I'm trying to like stop talking when they happen so it's not in the video. I don't know how far away they have to be for you guys to not hear them. So I'm really sorry if you can hear all the cars in the background. It is extremely loud where I live. Number two is, are you on the naughty list or the nice list? I think I was pretty nice this year. I think I think I made the cut. I don't know though. I guess we'll find out. My favorite Christmas song. Ian and I were talking about this last night. Um, my favorite, again, and I feel like it's like a childhood thing. Like I just associate it with Christmas when I was a kid and it just makes me so happy. But I love Jingle Bell Rock and I don't know why, but like, it just makes me so happy when I hear it. Like, I feel like it's a childhood thing and like just reminds me of Christmas when I was a kid and that's why I love it so much. I also really love um, Oh Holy Night. There's a really good cover that I listen to on Spotify. I have a Christmas Spotify. I feel like my Spotify might be down in the description. I don't know. Nina Nesbitt. I don't know what else she sings. It won't focus on how you actually say her name, but it's on Spotify. She has a beautiful voice and I absolutely love her version of that song. The next question is Christmas day. Do you stay in PJs all day or get dressed up? I, we don't get dressed up, dressed up. I am the type of person to show up like overdressed to literally any and every event. So I dress up. We don't stay in our PJs though. So I guess like if I had to pick one, everyone dresses up. I like to dress up. A lot of people just dress more casually like jeans and like a cute shirt or a graphic tee or something. I will take like any opportunity to dress up and run with it. Do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait until the last minute? I actually ordered a lot of my presents before Black Friday even happened. And I don't think I even bought anyone's Christmas present on Black Friday. I did hit some Cyber Monday deals, which I feel like that kind of goes along with this question. I like to get my Christmas shopping done early so I don't have to stress about it. I also like to spread it out. Like I start ordering Christmas gifts, I think in October, just so that like I'm not spending a ton of money at once. And like, it just makes me feel better. Like I don't like to stress about money. What is your favorite Christmas drink? Um, I don't know if I drink anything like associated with Christmas. Um, I drink pumpkin spice lattes at Starbucks, which are technically a holiday drink, so. I feel like it's more of like a fall themed drink. I do like hot chocolate, the Marshmallow Lovers by Swissmas. So good. 
and i like eggnog too a lot actually we just like my parents don't buy eggnog like we just don't have that in our house what is your favorite christmas snack okay my mom makes the best buckeyes they're so good i don't know or mm, christmas tree cakes by little debbie's i'm literally gluten intolerant and i suffer the consequences of eating little debbie's christmas tree cakes they are so freaking good i feel like i don't eat very many snacks that are like just seasonal to christmas you know name all of santa's reindeer i didn't know this would be like a quiz you know dasher and dancer and prancer and vixen comet and cupid and donner and blitzen and rudolph when does your family put up your christmas tree and who decorates it so we usually if it was up to my mom we would be a decorate the house for christmas on november 1st family but my dad is the grinch and we don't put it up until after thanksgiving so we decorate usually black friday i also have a vlog of that i believe it's like day four decorating at my parents house so be sure to check out that as well who decorates it usually me and my brothers decorate the tree um the other decorations my mom does and she just redid her living room and kitchen it looks so beautiful and we let her do all those decorations so that it looked the way she wanted it to for christmas but it looks really good is it your christmas tree real or fake fake ian's family does a real tree and ian wants to do a real tree in our house and like cleaning up all the pine needles and stuff just doesn't sound like fun to me but we will probably have a real tree in our house but this tree is fake. My parents' tree is fake because actually my mom and my brothers are allergic to Christmas trees. Peeking at gifts or be surprised? Um, so I am at the age where usually I know what I'm getting. And then Ian, I cannot let myself be surprised. So like I will force him to tell me what my present is. I'm so bad. You can ask him to literally for Valentine's Day, our anniversary, my birthday, everything. Like, I, I can't let him surprise me. Really ridiculous. I'm definitely a gift peeker. Are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? I don't know if I'm a pro. I'm pretty good at wrapping. I have a gift. I have some stuff wrapped. Like, I feel like this is cute. I don't do anything like extravagant. It's just simple wrapping, but like, I feel like this is pretty. This was in the dollar section at Target. Is that not the prettiest wrapping paper? I feel like I am that in between category. Like, I think I'm good at wrapping, but like, I don't do anything extravagant. If you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? I feel like I ha I'm obligated to say Ian. Definitely not Morgan Wallen. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? I just love getting to spend time with my family and like my like grandparents and aunts and uncles and cousins and stuff. I'm very fortunate. All of my cousins are like around my age and we most of us live in the same town. So I've grown up super close to my family and i know not everyone is fortunate enough to have that i'm just super thankful to have a family that's like as close-knit and loving as mine is and i just love getting to spend holidays with them what is the best present you've ever received probably when i had tickets to see justin bieber because i love justin bieber love me some jb one year one of our presents to all like to me and both my brothers was we went on our cruise that was part of our christmas and then one year my for christmas from my grandparents we all went and stayed in gulf shores alabama that summer i would feel like those are good probably one of the best gifts too just because i love traveling and i love the beach and it was super fun have you ever gone christmas caroling i have actually i so when i was in high school my show choir in my spanish class did Christmas carols? I caroled in Spanish. I couldn't remember a single Spanish Christmas carol now, but I did. And then last year, actually, um, I went with Ian's family and we went and sang at his grandparents' house and then um, one of his neighbors. And it was so sweet. It was a lot of fun. It was freezing that day, though. I remember being so freaking cold when we did that. It was so bad, but it was fun. What tops your tree? So my tree here, I have a black star. You can't see it. It's literally a black plastic star. I promise it's not special. The star at my mom and dad's house is like a rusty star. She has like a very like, I don't know what you want to call it, like country, country farmhouse tree. Do you make New Year's resolutions? Do you stick to them? Okay, so I kind of do, I guess. I don't like feel like I perfectly 
stick to them. A lot of my goals this year were like social media related and I had like fitness goals and stuff. One of my goals was to read the Bible in a year and I will unfortunately not be finishing it in a year, but I'm probably like two thirds of the way done. So like I haven't given up. You have been granted one Christmas wish. What will it be? World peace. So yeah, those are all the questions that were on that Christmas tag. Again, I will leave the video I used linked down below so you guys can read her questions and do that video as well. If you would like to, I would love to see it. So if you do, be sure to comment down below the link and I will definitely watch it. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know. Leave a comment down below and subscribe and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.